That's it, little red tractor. Keep him coming. Wow! What's that, Uncle Walter? Yeah, that's Stan's traction engine, that is. And today, we're finally going to get him going. Way cool! Oh, yeah? Well, pin your ears back and get a load of this. No, I meant the traction engine. Way cool. And she weighs a cool ten tons, Leo. Traction engines were designed to pull very heavy loads. Well, maybe it could pull us all round a beach farm for Mr Jones' barbecue. Oh, yes. I'd almost forgotten about the Barbie. Well, this engine isn't going to pull anything unless we get her going again. Come on, Stan. First of all, we need to fire up the boiler. Boiler? Yeah. This doesn't run on petrol. It's steam-driven. Weird. What time's everyone coming round, Uncle Jasper? They are supposed to be here at about five o'clock, but there won't be much point if I can't get this wretched barbecue together. How's anyone without a degree in mechanical engineering supposed to... Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Where are the instructions again? Here you are, Uncle Jasper. Oh, they're completely incomprehensible. I, ah, it was upside down. <clears throat> so ridiculous, it says here. So simple, a child of five could put it together. Well, don't look at me, Uncle Jasper. I'm eight. <clears throat> oh, look at that. What am I supposed to do with that stupid thing? Nah. I will do it. I'm going to keep at it all night if that's what it takes. But Uncle Jasper, everyone will be here for the barbecue soon. Yes, Thomas, I know. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the mill the flour is ground, the flour we use to bake the bread. That keeps all the fear. Hey, will you stop making that racket? Well, sorry, Elsie, I was just fixing Nipper's exhaust. I'm not talking about that noise, Stumpy. I mean that horrible bellowing sound. Well, that was singing. Oh, that's what you call it, is it? <laughs> well, you can sing all the way to Mr. Jones's. I baked some cakes to take to the barbecue, and I want you to take them round there. OK, Elsie, just as soon as I fix... Oh, sorry, Nipper. Oh, the wind blows a windmill around. Stumpy! <laughs> I don't get it. It's got up a good head of steam, but it's just not working. Pressure's looking good, Stan. Still no luck? Not yet. I'll take a look underneath, see if there's any loose connections in the pipes. Anyone check the valve chest? <laughs> Still got it. Great stuff, Nicola. What did you do? Nothing. No, nah, it was me, Stan. Not lost the old touch, eh? <laughs> Gave the old valve chest a whack and Stan? 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 I can't stop it. Hang on, Nicola. Gotcha. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Nicola, jump. I can't. It'll run riot through Babble Brook. Leave this to me and Little Red Tractor. Don't worry, we'll catch up with them, and then we'll... we'll... we'll think of something. There. Wasn't that difficult after all? Uh, are you sure that's how it's supposed to look? It is a bit, um, isn't it? Still, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Now to fire it up. Uncle Jasper? Turn on the gas. I don't think it's very good. And light it. Oh dear. Uncle Jasper, is the barbecue off? I rather think it is. Walter sells those throwaway barbecues at his garage. Good thinking, Thomas. Of course, that's what we'll do. To blaze us with this heap of old scrap metal, let's go and get ourselves some proper barbecues. Any luck? No! It looks like it's stuck in go mode! Don't worry, Nicola. I'll get the gate. Come on, little red tractor. Phew! That was close. Oh, the wind blows a windmill, sails around, and in the Stop middle of the... Me. Oh, Look out! 
Nicola, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But you've got to stop the traction engine. It's going straight towards Mr Jones's house. Wow. Quick, little red tractor. Well, what happened? Got to stop it. Easy does it, little red tractor. OK. Now, brake. That's it. You're holding her. The valve chest, Nicola. Try doing what Walter did. Brilliant. Well done, Nicola. Great stuff, little red tractor. Well, I don't reckon Mr Jones is going to think it's brilliant when he sees what you've done to his barbecue. Oh, no. I guess we'll just have to own up. Mr Jones! Uh, Mr Jones! Mr Jones! I don't think he's here. Must have popped out for something. Well, in that case, we might just get away with it, Stan. <laughs> Reckon we can put it back together as good as new. Hello, who's the... Why, of all the selfish... It is Sunday, Uncle Jasper. Yes, but I need those barbecues. I need some pets. Oh, what's the use? Come on, Thomas. We'll just have to tell everyone the barbecues off. <laughs> like I said, he'll never know the difference. Phew. And now you and I have got a spot more work to do, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Nicola, can you steer the traction engine again while Little Red Tractor tows her back to Gosling Farm? That's it, Little Red Tractor. Not looking forward to telling everyone the barbecue's off, I can tell you, Thomas. Not looking forward to it one little... Uncle Jasper, look! What on earth? But how? Come on, then. All aboard and let's get to that barbie. Hmm. Nice barbie you've got there, Mr Jones. Yes, it's a kit job, you know. They say they're hard to assemble, but me, well, put it together in no time at all. Ah, Stumpy and Elsie, good to see you. Mr Jones here was telling me these things are a doddle to put together. Well, not a doddle, exactly. It does take a mechanical mind, a fair bit of technical know-how, a bit of expertise. Oh, it wasn't that hard, Mr Jones. <laughs> no, surprisingly simple, actually, on the, uh, the, on the, on the, the... What? You mean... I've got a confession to make. I'm afraid that earlier on I had a bit of an accident with it. But I hope we put it back together again OK. You mean you put it together? It's lucky you did, Stan. When Uncle Jasper tried, it kept falling apart, didn't it? So, um, you didn't put it together then, Mr J? No, I, uh, well, I, I, I think the sausages are just about ready, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, come and get it! Yeah, oh, wait, I know it was well, I suppose it doesn't matter who made the barbie, just so long as there's plenty of lovely grub. <laughs> We've done well this morning, little red tractor. The cows have been milked, the pigs fed. Hey, let's call into Rose Cottage and see how Amy is getting on with her garden. Imagine where they've all come from. But what are they? Moles, sweetheart. But moles are really cute. Why would they do this to our garden? They have to live somewhere, and I'm afraid they've chosen here. Morning, all. Oh, Stan, look! Our garden's ruined. You have moles by the look of it. What can we do? Can we get rid of them? <gasps> you mustn't hurt them. Hmm. I'll have to give this some thought. It's been a while since we've had moles around here. Don't worry, Amy. I'm sure I can help. Leave it with me. Thanks, Stan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, 
Wait a minute. Oh, no. Dad's forgotten a whole load of stuff again. Dad? Dad! Hello, girl. What's up? You forgot half the stuff I asked you to get again. Oh, um, Oh. Now I'm going to have to drive into Babblebrook and get it. Nah, it's all right. I'll get it. Can I trust you not to forget anything? Me? Forget? I've got a memory like a... Like a... Like a... Like a... What you call it? Elephant? Yeah. One of them. <sighs> I'll write you a list. That'll do it. A list, yeah. You can't go wrong with a list. Right. We need fresh bread. Oh, and a garden rake for Laura Turvey. Bread. Rake. Free-range eggs. Tractor oil for Stan. Eggs and cake and a garden rake. Bread, not cake. But bread doesn't rhyme. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, a set of little thimbles for Elsie. Hello, a customer. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Shop! Walter! Oh, hello, Mr Jones. Ah, just a minute. Listen, can you get away for a spot of fishing this afternoon? Oh. I have to dash into Babblebrook to pick up some stuff for Nicola, but it won't take long. Well, chop chop. I'll meet you when you get back, but keep it quiet, eh? Don't want anyone taking our spot. <laughs> no worries. I'll get off now. Catch you later. There you go. Now Dad won't forget anything. Oh no! Dad! Wait! You forgot the list! Oh, Dad. Good morning, Stan. Wasn't expecting to see you this morning. I need your help, Stumpy. That's why I'm here. Oh, fire away. What can I do for you? Well, it's not for me, actually. It's the Turvies. I'm afraid moles have made themselves at home in their garden. They've made a terrible mess and poor Amy's beside herself. You know how she loves her garden. Mm. Moles, eh? <laughs> Exactly. The thing is, I've promised to try and help. Stumpy? Oh, I always pace when I'm thinking. I've got it. I remember now, my old dad's way of getting rid of moles was to blow smoke down one end of their tunnel, and then when they'd pop up for a breath of fresh air, he'd catch them. Don't worry, little red tractor. We can't do that, Stumpy. Amy doesn't want to hurt the little moles. She just wants them to move on. Oh, oh, I see. Hmm. Well, I... You're not going to pace again, are you? What was that? Are you all right, little red tractor? Oh, take no notice. She does that occasionally. I think the sails need a bit of oil. That jolt went right through me. The ground shook. <laughs> That would certainly scare the moles away. <laughs> would it that? Except we're not going to be able to carry this old windmill over to Rose Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that does give me an idea. That's what we need to make the moles move. A vibration. Hmm. That could work. Now, let me think. I reckon it's... It's all right, Stumpy. Don't start pacing. We've taken up enough of your time. We'll think of something. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Oops, I forgot the list. Still, I'm sure I remembered everything. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, fresh bread, check. Two dozen eggs. Free range, check. Garden rake for Mrs. Turvey, check. Tractor oil for Stan, check again. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my memory. Now, what's next? Oh, yeah. And a set of thimbles for Elsie. Thimbles? Thimbles? Oh, no. I thought she said windmills. I've got it wrong again. Nicola's not going to be happy. Oh, hi, Dad. You're back. Did you get everything? Everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course I did. Well done. I was worried because you forgot the list. Who needs a list? <laughs> I'll help you put everything away. No! Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. I can manage. You take it easy. OK. Thanks, Dad. I'm going to do with a box of windmills. <sighs> I'm just going to have to hide them. That's all. Mmm. <laughs> Aha! Off fishing, then. Shh! Not so loud. We don't want anyone to take our spot. We? Yes. I'm going with Walter. Promises to be a successful day. Well, before you go, I wonder if you can help me. Anything's done, anything so long as it's quick. The turvies are having a problem with moles. 
Rather them than us, Em. Well, that's not very neighbourly. Listen, I have an idea. We might be able to make the moles move if we can get the ground to vibrate. Oh, I see. You want me to drive Big Blue all over their garden. <laughs> no, definitely not. Any other ideas? I would love to help Stan. Really, I would. But, well, I have to go fishing. Oh, um, OK. Well, maybe Walter will have an idea about how to help me with these moles. Dad? Oh, no! If Nicola sees the windmill, she'll know I got the order wrong. Dad? Where has he got to now? Hi, Nicola. Is Walter around? He was here, Stan. But he seems to have, um... He's behind the tiles. Dad? What were you doing behind there? I was, uh... Well, you know, just, um... Counting tyres. What are you doing with those windmills? What windmills? <laughs> windmills. That's it. That's just what we need. What? Huh? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, here you go, Stan. One box of windmills. Your windmills? Yes, they're for a little project that I'm working on. Project? Yeah. Yeah, the project. <laughs> here they are, Stan, as you ordered. Thanks. And has my oil arrived? I think Stumpy may need it to oil his windmill sails. Yeah, I have that as well. Yeah, that will be the windmills and the oil. Two things are remembered. <laughs> Walter, are we going fishing or not? Fishing? But I thought you were... Oh, did I forget to mention the fishing? I think there are even more molehills now. Here's Stan and the Troy Tractor. Maybe he's found a way to make the moles go away. Windmills? Why have you got so many? I have a plan. What we need to do is plant the windmills all over the garden. Why? Trust me, I think this may solve your problem with the moles. And it will make the garden look really cool. Come on, Amy. I've done one, Stan. Hey, Stan, I think these look much better than boring old flowers. They look great. But how will they get rid of the moles? As the wind blows them around, they'll vibrate through the soil. This will irritate the moles and in no time, they'll move off completely unharmed to somewhere more peaceful. You're a genius. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. Stumpy and Little Red Tractor helped. Well, I think you both saved the day. <sighs> Only a couple more to go. Hiya, Stan. Hiya, Little Red Tractor. Hello, you two. Are you ready for the first harvest party this afternoon? We sure are. Here's the first harvest of the new corn. Are you ready? Mum's in a flap. She says she's got so much to do. We went to pick berries for her. Just to get out of the house. There. <laughs> All done. We'd better get home. See ya. See you at the party. Bye. When we get back, we can go and fly my kite. Yeah. OK, little red tractor. Let's head on up to Stumpy's. Oh, and do me a favour, shorten the sleeves, will you, Elsie, love? Oh, I'm not a gorilla. He'll grow into it. Thank you so much for letting me come and work for you today. It'll really help me with my article on rural life for the newspaper. <laughs> no problem, Skip. Oh, this is just what I need. I said to myself, Skip, I said, what you need is experience. To write, you need to experience. <sighs> So, where do I start? Well, we need to grind the old corn first to make way for the new stuff. So, let's shift these sacks inside and start milling. Uh, manual labour? Oh, not really my thing, I have to say, but... Um, oh, I'll give it a go. Oh, I wasn't expecting you two so soon. I haven't finished milling the rest of last year's corn yet. You've got some help, I see. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. What's up? My favourite day of the year, and I always make the cake of the first harvest. And now... Oh! What's wrong? I've no eggs. I've got all the other ingredients, but I forgot the eggs. Don't worry, Elsie. There should be plenty of eggs at my farm. 
I didn't have time to collect them this morning. I'll drive you there now. Hop in the trailer. You know, I get ill in the back. Can I sit up front? Well, there's no room, I'm... Oh, I'll go. I, I mean, I'll take Elsie. She can ride in my sidecar and we'll be there and back in a jiffy. Oh, thank you, Skip. Yeah, but, but who's going to help me with the millin? Come on, Stumpy. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> I hoped you'd say that. Right, I'll be as quick as I can. I can't have a break in the training. If I take a day off, I'll put my training back two days. That means I'll have to catch up two days over the next three days to get back on track. That'll never do, never do. But there's so much still to get done for this afternoon. There's the baking, the decorations... Oh, the... plenty of time, Laura, plenty of time. Back in a flash. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Your father and his keep fit. Still, at least I have you two to help me. Oh, Mum, we were going to fly my kite. Kitchen. Oh. Oh, do get a move on, Skip. I need to get the harvest cake in the oven as soon as I can. It takes hours to cook because it's so big. Well, in that case, how about a shortcut? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Elsie, this is getting bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, and my, wasn't that quick? I'll say. Right, where does Stan keep his eggs? In the kitchen? <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about life in the country. The eggs are over there. <laughs> he keeps them in the barn? They're wherever the hens lay them. Now, help me out. We need to fill this basket as quick as we can. A close one that was. <laughs> we appear to be going backwards, and if my memory serves me correctly, behind us is the cliff. Do something, Mr. Turvey. I, c I can't see where we're going. Lean right. No, no. Try left. It may be time to panic, Elsie. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, what about that? <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Stan. That... <laughs> Skip! Skip, are you all right? Oh, I'm barely. What happened? Oh, I, I, I don't really know, but, um, but I... I lost the sidecar. Elsie was in the sidecar. You've lost my Elsie. Where did you last see her? Um, Tony Alwood. Stumpy, you take care of Skip. Little Red Tractor and I will go and find Elsie. <laughs> right. I'll run and get help. Oh, Mr. Turvey! <laughs> Second thoughts. We'll wait here for help to come to us. Yes, dear. I think that's a better idea. I can't see anything. What's the... A broken egg. There's another. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go.
Are you two OK? I think so. Yeah, absolutely fine. What are you doing here, Mr Turvey? Well, I'd like to say I know, but I don't. What I do know is that if I get off the front of this, Elsie goes over there... Bang! And I don't want to go bang. Hmm. Hold on there. I've got a great idea. I'll just secure this to the tow hook, and if you can tie this end to the sidecar, then when we take up the slack, you need to jump clear, Mr Turvey. I don't want you getting tangled up in the rope. No problem. All set here. OK, little red tractor. Nice and slow now. Now, Mr Turvey. Whoa! Right now. Heave! Come on, little red tractor. You can do it! Thank you, Stan. Thank you, little red tractor. Oh, my eggs. What happened to my eggs? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, dear. There's only two eggs left. That's never enough for the harvest cake. Never mind. At least you're all right. Now, let's get you back to the mill. I know that the cake is a bit smaller this year, but there should be enough to go round. Well, the important thing is that we're all here to celebrate the new harvest. Thanks to Stan and Little Red Tractor. <laughs> 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 Great stuff.